Bonjour tout le monde, j'espère que vous allez bien. Euh, Aujourd'hui, on va continuer à parler des transports écologiques. Euh, donc, on va corriger tout d'abord euh, les exercices d'hier et après, on va préparer une rédaction sur ce sujet. Donc, pour commencer, exercice 12. A2, faites correspondre les titres avec les textes, puis répondez aux questions qui suivent. Donc, on va commencer par lire le texte et expliquer le vocabulaire, tout ça. A. Pratique pour les trajets récurrents. Ils sont généralement ponctuels et passent à intervalles réguliers. Les nombreux points d'arrêt font que les centres-villes sont bien desservis. Desservis, uh, we had before in the oral, looking at, you know, is our... Um, Region well serviced by public transport. Ok. Um, avantage. Prendre en charge de nombreuses personnes en, en même temps pour ainsi réduire la circulation et la pollution. Ainsi, therefore. Um, so, for therefore to reduce circulation or pardon, tra traffic uh, and pollution. Inconvénient. Une mauvaise image de lieu stressant. Donc, c'est lequel? C'est les transports en commun. D'accord? B. Ce moyen de déplacement, déplacement, traveling, ok, and up here we had trajet was um, a, a word for journey, offre l'opportunité de faire travailler ses, mus, uh, ses muscles et son cœur. So, op offre l'opportunité to work, um, to make your, your muscles work, right? There's that fair plus another verb, to make something, do something, right? We call that the cause of construction in French, and I mentioned it. Um, there's notes on it in on your one note, um, so if you want to have a look at that in your own time. Uh, bref, de profiter des bienfaits d'une activité physique régulière. Autre avantage, une fois le matériel acheté, il ne coûte rien de l'utiliser fréquemment. Si vous optez pour la location, la, cosa, la location is a rent, okay, to rent it, comme le VLIB, les tarifs sont très attractifs. Attention, cependant, il faut rester prudent pour circuler en ville et emprunter le plus possible les pistes aménagées. Ok, so, piste there, like a track, and aménager means converted, so like, you know, converted tracks. So, that one's going to be aussi le vélo. C, en ville, ces services sont parfois mis en place et offrent la possibilité de pouvoir utiliser un véhicule ponctuellement sans avoir supporté des inconvénients comme l'entretien, les visites chez les gara euh, le garagiste, etc. À Paris, ce service permet de réserver une voiture à 2,30 euros euh, l'heure. Le les véhicules sont mis à disposition euh, 24 sur 24 euh, pour les personnes qui souhaitent les réserver. Donc, qu'est-ce que c'est? C'est l'autopartage. L'autopartage. Et pourquoi? Why? So what is l'auto partage? L'auto stands for, you know, a car and um, partage, you know, the verb partage to share. Um, so these kind of shared car um, services where you can almost like, uh, you know, rent a car, but you know, you're sharing it between people. Um, so why? Well, in, in towns, these services are often mise en place, put in place, and offer the possibility to be able to use a, um, a car um punctually without having to um you know put up with the drawbacks like l'entretien there is like upkeep and uh, les visites chez les garagistes visits to the gar um to the garage etc um et c'est pour ça okay d uh, 100% écologique 100% économique et vraiment bon pour la santé 30 minutes par jour limite de 50% les risques cardiovasculaires cette manière de se déplacer, se déplacer is important for this topic, is to, um, just underline that there, se déplacer to travel, or to get around, okay, so to travel. Se déplacer est accessible à tous, mais, à tous, mais n'est pas pratique pour de longs trajets. Il faut donc combiner avec les transports en commun et pourquoi pas s'arrêter en arrêt avant son travail et finir le trajet à pied à pied, there's your clue. We're talking about la marche. OK. Uh, on va continuer. Moyen de transport le plus, le plus populaire, il est aussi celui qui comprend le plus, uh, plus d'inconvénients. Polluant, incomprend, brillant et coûteux. 
40% pour, 40 du temps, ce véhicule n'est pas utilisé et reste sur un parking ou dans un garage. Prisé pour le gain d'indépendance et qu'il apporte, ce véhicule n'est pas toujours synonyme de gain de temps. En ville, suivant les conditions de circulation, embouteillage, we've had that before in the oral, um, your traffic jams, recherche de place de station, stationnement, uh, looking for a place of parking, la marche et le vélo peuvent se, reve se révéler plus rapides. So there we're talking about la voiture personnelle. Okay, just um, a few key vocab there. Polluant, right? It, uh, it pollutes. Um, what else we had there? And parking, car park. Um, and you have your circulation, traffic, etc. Okay? Okay. Donc, quel moyen de transport est le plus utilisé, le plus utilisé malgré les nombreux désavantages? Donc, c'est, bien sûr, la voiture personnelle, la voiture personnelle, le plus populaire. OK. Donc, le plus populaire, pardon. Deux, euh, quel moyen de transport est complètement écologique mais peu pratique? Et ici, on parle euh, de, de la marche, d'accord? Euh, marcher, to walk. So, euh, complètement écologique mais peu pratique. Trois, permet d'avoir les avantages de la voiture sans les inconvénients. Alors ça, c'est... L'autopartage, l'autopartage. Euh, quatre, réduit la circulation en ville. Ça, c'est les transports en commun. Et cinq, quel moyen de transport est bon pour la santé et peut être acheté ou loué? Um, so, which can be bought or, or rented. Et ici, on parle du vélo, le vélo. Ok, so then chaque nation will rev the um, car on a rev the factory car. Exercice 13 Aujourd'hui, 80% des déplacements de personnes se font en voiture, 10% en train et 5,5% en avion. Les véhicules particuliers sont responsables de plus de la moitié des émissions de CO2. En pratiquant l'éco-conduite, un automobiliste consomme moins de carburant réduit son risque d'accident et surtout limite l'émission de gaz à effet de serre responsable du réchauffement climatique. Pour être un éco-conducteur, vous pouvez par exemple rouler doucement pendant les cinq premiers kilomètres, garder une vitesse constante en respectant les limitations de vitesse et le code de la route. Vous pouvez aussi privilégier la vitre ouverte à la climatisation. Vérifiez la pression des pneus. Rappelons aussi que pour vos déplacements quotidiens, il n'y a pas que la voiture. Vous pouvez marcher à pied, prendre le vélo, utiliser les transports en commun ou, si vous devez prendre la voiture, pratiquer le covoiturage. Bonne route et soyez prudents Ok, on va commencer par voir le texte. Aujourd'hui, 80% des déplacements de personnes se font en voiture. 10% en train et 5,5. That virgule there um, means point in French, ok? Decimal point. Um, 5,5% en avion. Les véhicules particuliers sont responsables de plus de la moitié des émissions de CO2. Um, important vocab here for your listening exam. And can also come up in the re written as well, but not um, more so for the listening. Uh, when we're talking about fractions, so you've got... La moitié. Half. OK. Um, you could have un quart. A quarter. Or you could have un tiers. Which is a third. So make sure you note those somewhere into your notes copy there. Um, just to have it for the listening. Okay, so looking at that there and looking at the questions, 
Um, a, what is the percentage of people traveling by car nowadays? So the percentage is obviously going to be, we'll have a look back, um, 80% de déplacement de personnes se font en voiture. So 80, we've got 80%. The, uh, the vehicles are responsible for a third, a quarter, or a half. We're now knowing this vocab here. So we're going to obviously choose. La moitié is a half. So, uh, and really, it should be more than half. Plus de la moitié. Okay, more than half. So, we'll move on. Next one. En pratiquant l'éco-conduite, uh, un automobiliste consomme moins de carburant, réduit son risque d'accident, et surtout limite l'émission de gaz à effet de serre responsable du réchauffement climatique. Um, in terms of grammar, can you remember what this is? Ends in A-N-T, okay? And we've got the O in front of it. Um, this part here is the present participle and the whole thing is called uh, gerondif. Um, but the present participle bit, meaning A-N-T is like the same as I-N-G in English. So practicing. Um, and the O bit means while. Okay, while or by or on doing something. So while practicing. While practicing eco-friendly driving, a driver consumes less carburant, uh, fuel, okay, less fuel. Réduit son risque d'accident, uh, reduces his or her risk of accident. Um, et surtout, limite l'émission de gaz à effet de serre. And above all, surtout, uh, reduces the uh, greenhouse gas emissions responsible for Réchauffement climatique, climate change. Pour être un éco-conducteur, so you can guess what that means. Conducteur is the French for a driver. So éco-conducteur, an eco-friendly driver. To be an eco-friendly driver, uh, vous pouvez par exemple rouler doucement. Uh, rouler is the verb to drive. Okay, so same as conduire. And doucement, gently. So to drive gently or slowly. Pendant les cinq premiers kilomètres, um, during the first um, five kilometers, Garder une vitesse constante, to keep a constant vitesse of speed, okay? En respectant, and remember again, what do you call that? That's the present participle, and that whole thing there is the gerondif, okay? So while respecting, les limitations de vitesse, the speed limits, et le code de la route, and the rules of the road. Vous pouvez aussi privilégier la vitre ouverte à la climatisation, vérifier la pression de pneu. Uh, des pneus as well. So, um, you could also, this here means to favour, okay, or to um, make something your first choice to pick it. So, you could also um, favour the open window instead of the air conditioning, okay, and also verifier, to check, la pression des pneus, check the pressure of the tyres. There's a lot of junior surf vocab there, so, you know, still showing you how important junior surf vocab is um, even at the at leaving start, especially when you're looking at reading comprehensions and listening comprehensions. So, uh, um, just looking at the questions over here. Sorry, no. Uh, apart from reducing CO two emissions, name one benefit of practicing eco conduite. So, um, if you have a look at that there, what are the benefits? So, apart from reducing your CO two emissions, um, you've got to reduce reduce or to consume less fuel reducing one's risk of an accident and then you have the the um the co2 emissions okay and see then name one thing you can do to become an eco conductor um so to be an eco conductor you you can do all this stuff here what we looked at so remember drive slowly for the first five kilometers keep a constant speed while respecting the speed limitations and the rules of the road um, and also choosing the open window instead of the air con on the last one, rappelons aussi que pour vos déplacements quotidiens, il n'y a pas que la voiture. Vous pouvez marcher à pied, prendre le vélo, utiliser les transports en commun, ou si vous devez prendre la voiture, pratiquer le covoiturage. Bonne route et soyez prudent. So, rappelons, let, let us remember, okay, rappelons, um, let us remember as well that for your daily déplacement travels, il n'y a pas que la voiture. There's not only, il n'y a pas que, not only, the car. You can also um, walk, prendre le vélo, take the bike, or use public transports. Or if you have to take the car, practice le covoiturage. Covoiturage there is um, car sharing. Um, so you would have also seen um, the word l'autopartage 
which is a different type of car share, sharing. Um, Co-watcherage kind of means, you know, you're taking the same journey together. You're, you're sharing the journey, whereas Lotte Partage is you're sharing the car um, using it at different times. Bon route et soyez prudent. Um, so good journey or, you know, safe journey and be careful. So looking at the last question there, D, what reminder does this journalist give us? Just what we said there about the different modes of transport that you could take. So anything like that, it's fine, it's correct. Okay, so just looking at exercise 14 now. Um, we had to find these in the transcript. Um, there they are. Okay, uh, we're moving on now to exercise 15. Exercise 15. Comment imaginez-vous les transports du futur le ministre de l'Environnement français a déclaré qu'en 2050, les voitures à essence et diesel ne seront plus fabriquées. Donc, j'imagine un futur très proche où les transports seront électriques ou autonomes. Ok, so, um, how do you manage transport in the future? Um, the Minister for the French Environment has declared that in um, 2050, the, um, cars à essence et diesel so essence is really your word for petrol now carburant just means fuel essence um, petrol or pétrole and diesel ne seront plus fabriqués will no longer be produced donc j'imagine un futur très proche a very close future où les transports seront électriques ou autonomes electric or aut uh, autonome actually came up in the papers one of the years for the written section um, these driverless cars like your Teslas voiture autonome C'est un peu de la science-fiction, non Mais pas du tout. Les voitures sans chauffeur existent déjà. Et je pense que dans 20 ans, elles feront partie de notre paysage quotidien. Les compagnies automobiles investissent des millions de dollars pour le développement de l'intelligence artificielle de voitures autonomes. Je pense que d'ici 2030, il y aura beaucoup de bus et de taxis autonomes, c'est-à-dire sans chauffeur. Et on trouvera ça normal. Okay, so, um, and again, the journalist asks, so, um, driverless cars, it's a little bit of science fiction, isn't it? And um, the guy says, but not at all. Cars without drivers already exist, déjà, already. Remember, your déjà vu already seen. Okay, et je pense que dans 20 ans, and in tw I think that in 20 years, they will faire, faire partie de, remember, uh, means to belong to. So belong to our... Um, daily um, paysage landscape. Les compagnies automobiles investissent, investir, investissent uh, there is to invest millions of dollars for its development or for the development of artificial intelligence of these driverless cars. And I think that um, between now and, so remember we had that before as well when we were looking at time, you're talking about between now and it's DC, um, you can say DC à 2030 or just DC 2030, between now and uh, 2030, there will be beaucoup, a lot of buses and um, taxis that are driverless. Um, C'est-à-dire sans chauffeur. So we've had two words now for drivers um, today. We've had conducteur or chauffeur. So you should take note of them. Um, et on trouvera ça normal and we'll find that normal. Vraiment? Oui, imaginez. Dans le futur, vous pourrez appeler une voiture avec une application téléphonique et hop, une voiture viendra vous prendre. Ça veut dire plus besoin de garer sa voiture, plus besoin d'énormes parkings, plus d'embouteillages. De plus, les obstacles à la conduite comme la fatigue, l'ivresse ou l'âge disparaîtront. Tout le monde pourra circuler tout le temps. Um, really, yes, imagine, in the future you will be able to call, um, so a pedic call, um, a car with a telephone app and it'll come, um, it'll come to take you, vous uh, prendre. Ça veut dire, that means, no longer I need to garer, garer is another important um, verb you would have done in your junior search, um, to park in French, and you've got stationner as well, two verbs to park. Okay, um, or no longer any need for enormous um, car parks, the parking, um, no longer des embouteillages, your car, your traffic jams, um, 
and also different obstacles like um, driving while you're tired or drunk, leave rest. Remember Etra Eve right, when we did alcohol to be drunk um, or age will disappear. So all those obstacles to driving. Um, everyone will be able to travel all the time. Tout cela aurait un impact sur notre climat Bien sûr. Ces taxis et bus autonomes auront des moteurs électriques, ce qui réduira les émissions de gaz à effet de serre. Il faut savoir que, à ce jour, plus d'un quart des émissions de gaz à effet de serre provient du secteur automobile. Vous vous rendez compte Un quart Utiliser des voitures autonomes, c'est lutter efficacement contre le changement climatique. Okay, so on all of that uh, would have an impact on, on our climate, of course. These taxis and, and buses that are um, driverless would have electric motor, is engine, okay, electric engines, which would reduce the greenhouse gas emissions. We also need to, to, to know that um, until now, uh, more than a quarter of the emissions from the greenhouse gases come from the car sector. Um, you know, did you realise a quarter... To use driverless cars, it's really an efficient fight. We're fighting efficiently against climate change. Okay, the questions. <clears throat> A, what has French Minister of the Environment declared will happen by 2050? Um, and he's declared that the cars, uh, petrol and diesel cars will no longer be made. Um, B, according to Oscar, uh, what will we see a lot more of by 2030? We'll see a lot more of buses and taxis that are driverless. Okay. Um, C, part I, according to Bagnol, um, how will you be able to get a car in the future? And he says, in the future, you will be able to get a car through a telephone um, app. Okay, C, part two, we name one advantage of driverless cars, according to him. So you could have had any of these. No longer the need to, what's Gary again? To park, yeah. Um, and then also no longer needs, no longer the need for enormous car parks, um, traffic jams, um and obstacles to driving such as tiredness um being drunk or age d what portion of greenhouse gas emissions is due to trans to the transport industry i remember he says that it's an car car quarter okay next slide 16 the last thing he had to do was then find these in the transcript so if you haven't that done now off you go get them and put this on pause Okay, and just the last one there. So, A, petrol and diesel cars. Live what your essence et de diesel. Um, B, driverless cars. De, live what your autonome. D, no more need for huge car parks. Um, sorry, C, they will be part of our lives forever. Elles feront partie de notre paysage quotidien, our daily landscape. Okay, D, no, no more need for huge uh, car parks. Plus besoin de norme parking. E, which will reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Ce qui réduira les émissions de gaz à effet de serre. F, do you realize? Vous vous rendez compte? And G, it's fighting effectively against global warming. C'est lutter efficacement contre le changement climatique. Ok, donc maintenant, je vais vous parler de, de vos devoirs. D'accord? Um, donc, pour aujourd'hui, vous allez avoir une, une option entre deux. D'accord? Deux options. Um, donc, vous allez écrire une rédaction environ, on va dire uh, 100 mots. So, Thais, I'll give um, Erin Swedufal Bear, Kesh de Hain, Darren Shea, Noka. But really, they're looking for 100 to 120. Um, and especially for, you know, those looking at a good grade, we'll be looking up to about 120, but no more. Um, so, that's what you're going to do. You're going to do an essay on um, transport for me. Just to let you know where we're going with this. Um, tomorrow, uh, hopefully I'll have that corrected by the end of this week. Tomorrow we'll be looking at Les Animaux Sauvages. Um, et les Animaux en Voie de Disparition. Okay, so the animals that are threatened by climate change and all of that. Um, and also Animal Cruelty. We'll be looking at that between tomorrow and the next day. On Friday then, I'll be doing a summary on all the stuff we've done this week for you. We'll be going through a brainstorm, recapping on all the important vocab. Um, and then you will study all of the stuff we've done on the environment over the weekend, the long weekend. And on Tuesday then, I'll be giving you a test, um, on an essay to do for me um, that I want, to, I want you to take under exam conditions 
on the Tuesday um, during class time. So whenever we're meant to have French is when you'll be doing the test and you'll have a time limit on that as well. So make sure that you're that you're um, prepared for it. And then we'll start looking at La Politique then. OK, so that's the plan. So merci beaucoup. Et si vous avez des questions, uh, n'hésitez pas à m'envoyer un courriel. OK, if you have any questions, you know, um, show or I'll refuscu them. Shock session, Gormagi books, Vekimishiv, and Mark.